these poems I have titled Songs of Night. Few years ago I had come out with a volume, an anthology of poems, which was titled Songs of Light. But these poems, the poems written since publication of that volume, I am titling them as Songs of Night because somehow we are in a long dark night. Let me begin Why no dog, why no dog barks? Why no dog barks? Why no dogs bark in this dumb and deaf night? Why no dogs bark in this deaf and dumb night? Why no dogs bark in this dumb and deaf night? Who is hiding in the dark? across the street. Why no dogs bark in this dumb and deaf night? Who is hiding in the dark across the street? What is hovering over the treetops? And who is knocking at my door? What is hovering over the treetops? And who is knocking at my door? For years now, I have been carrying my coffin. For years now, I have been carrying my coffin to the cemetery. Getting there, I intern my remains in a stall and epitaph and go back, only to return one next time with more of me. Only to return one next time with more of me. One by one, wound by wound, please remove all tapes, band-aids, securely fastened bandages. Let each gash open up, each laceration weep, crimson red blood, drain the sinews, and end the drought in the wilderness of my being. Let roses bloom. Let daffodils sprout. Night torments a bunch of blisters on my soles. Across the last desert before advent of dawn, I promised a lonely tree a candle before it is dawn. Flames came riding the crest of wind. The book with blank pages fluttered in my hands. Pigeons had fallen to the ground, smell of singed feathers hung in air. Iris enveloped the land, farmers missed the tulip days. Yet another bastardizing year has gone. Time is molesting itself in the woods. I have lost count of stars that go down. Let them sow the harvest of pain. Tulips red with rage. Disappear from the house tops. All the rosary beads have been buried. Brilliant chronograms and forehead, foreheads erased. Time has come to ride the wind and assemble in some far off land and celebrate another flock of death. Having done the last soul in the city of Sun, they entombed them. Alongside giggling infancy, dreamy adolescence, increased wisdom. In the grand mansions along the rim of the lake, the last abode of the great demon. Then they meticulously hung down from each window a freshly starched tricolor and lit a bonfire, the final ahuti. My eyes remain scattered on the floor among glowing embers 
of red carpet loneliness. The breeze whispers a name and withdraws into woods. The lark darts in and out of a long night. And then I lost count of the stars that plunged into sea and vanished tonight. I'll sing a lullaby tonight and lull my senses into sleep. I'll sing a lullaby tonight and lull my senses into sleep. I'll keep an angel's vigil and guide my soul into deep. I'll burn my body and collect my ashes into a heap. Scatter them atop the hills of faith, across the meadows of belief. Not a speck shall I keep. Come, let us unlearn whatever we learned. From the manuscripts painstakingly written by our ancestors in cold and dark nights, come, let us begin afresh the search for light. Old newspapers, empty canisters, last year's wall calendar, cartons, invites and bills. But what are warm hugs, wet kisses, amorous sighs, torment and passion? Pain and pleasure I gave her, doing in the trash can. My hand slit your throat, dismembered your body, limb by limb and joint by joint. My hands dug a hole and buried your parts, but refused to carve out a solemn epitaph. My hands then went out into the city and demolished every wall that carried your name uprooted every tree that resembled you and rejoiced in the newfound freedom. There stood a black minaret in the doorway of the cave and I was taken aback for prayer time was still away above the magnificent autumn tree. My shroud lay over the loom only half finished. I could see a glass bangle on her wrist I could smell fresh henna on her palm. We had consented to a date in the woods. Come, lie next to me on this ornate bed of clouds, gifted to me by the sun god, while returning, retur retiring for the night into warm waters of the sea. Come, and I'll tell you the story of a dazzling moon dancing wild in the woods of my soul. One day they will locate my glasses in the debris of time and look at the world through my eyes. Till then, it is designer way, the blind way. Snowflakes dance down from unknown heights, caress, touch and kiss the sacred soul of our woods. Hand in hand, we move along the river bank writing dreams and fallen leaves and the boatman drifts away on turbulent water. We catch wind in our fists, we drink fire from our veins and rebel against the ocean. Snow falls with crimson hue, surgeon covers the bleeding wounds in dazzling white gauze. We will wait till snow melts. This will be the first part of the poem or the poems that I intend to read. I hope anybody who listens to these poems will like them. Thank you. <laughs>